Welcome everyone to another episode of Bazelli's Wine TV, the most interesting wine channel on the internet. Why are we the most interesting wine channel on the internet? Because we consider wine a food. Thank you to perennial special <laughs> guest, star Holly Rocco Ferracci, a Republic National Distributing Company, a top 10 place to work, and they are actively hiring people. Yes. What are we hiring for, Holly? We're hiring for a specialist. Okay, uh, we're hiring for a specialist. Mm -hmm. Do we still need drivers? We absolutely need drivers and we need warehouse crew, absolutely. Okay, yeah, so yeah. They're, they're putting America to work and that's very important, we want to support them. I think just go to the website and they mm -hmm. can apply. rndc-usa.com Thank you so much, Holly. Today is special because it's not a wine tasting, guys, believe it or not. <laughs> but you know why it's special? Because it's hashtag seltzer takeover by noon who happens to be owned by an Italian company, I think the largest wine producer in the world. They're Italian. We're, 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 okay, we're, we're welcoming them into the tribe. Uh, they're, they're Italian. And so, because Gallo does a lot of, um, of work for small production wineries in Italy to mm -hmm. bring them to yeah. market, as we learned from Lee Cohen yeah. of Lux Brands. Holly yes. can elaborate on Tornator that. Tornator and, mm -hmm. and uh, yep, Rati. And Rati, mm -hmm. these are small guys who, who don't have the Argiano, reach. Argiano. Argiano, Allegri, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. that in Gallo invests a lot of money in them and nurtures them to bring them to, to broaden their reach in the marketplace. That's why we love Gallo. And so we love seltzer now too. <laughs> uh, after, uh, thank you again to Holly for this introduction. She introduced us today to Alexis Haas with Gallo's High Noon Division. It's High Noon now. It's High Noon all the time, all day, er day. It's High Noon, so we're so happy to have you, Alexis. Um, we do start every wine show. I know this is hashtag show, but we do start every show with, how'd you get into the business of, I, I don't know, is this a spirit or what, what, what is this? You? Yeah, so actually I was starting in the Gallo Leadership Development Program. Um, so you basically start as a sales rep, you move on up to a district manager, field sales manager, something like that, just to see the distributor side, and then you get to move into the wine side. Um, so I actually cover seltzer and wine, which is really exciting and I never get bored, so. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's, uh, so now you said wine, so yeah. <laughs> Holly and I are going <laughs> to digress a little. <laughs> which, which wines do you support? Like, um, all of the Gallo portfolio, other mm -hmm. than the ones that Lee supports. So okay. Lee gets all the fun mm -hmm. stuff. He gets okay. the really nice, <laughs> um, small production, high-end stuff. Um, and Gallo is the number one wine supplier in the world, so we have hundreds of brands that we do. Um, but some of the big ones are La Marca Prosecco. You guys know La Marca. Yes. You guys know yes. La Marca. Um, barefoot. Everyone knows Barefoot. Okay. Um, there's Apothic Wines. There's other stuff like Da Vinci, Masso Canale, um, Thrive. Thrive, Thrive, White Haven Sauvignon Blanc, St. Clair Sauvignon Blanc. We've got a bunch of stuff. So okay. yeah, we've got a, a Bordeaux sparkling rosé. Yes. yes. So, Louis yeah. Martini. Amelia. Mm -hmm. Louis Martini. Basically huge started man. Napa. So Start, started Napa. I like that. Another Orange time. Swift. I mean. Orange Swift. Swift. I, I, I don't know how I forgot that one. But yeah, Orange <laughs> Swift. <laughs> That's, that's in your book. Book. that's yeah. in your book, Born yeah. Swift. That's huge. We really run the gamut. <laughs> Holly, if you could tell um, our, our viewership about Orrin Swift a little bit, a legend. Oh yeah, absolutely a legend. I mean, this guy is a pioneer of red blends. So people love red blends today mainly because Dave Finney put them on the map. Mm -hmm. um, so he initially started uh, the Prisoner. And then, so of course, people know the prisoner. And then, um, and then, um, you know, after falling in love with wine in Italy, um, where he yep. did some schooling <laughs> in Italy, um, you know, he came back and and um, and started with the prisoner, and then was able to sell that and and start um, a start or in Swift, which is named after his mom and dad. It's their names combined. And uh, and then uh, eight year in the desert. So when he sold the prisoner, um, he wasn't able to make a Zinfandel for eight years, eight long years. <laughs> we waited for any kind of Zinfandel. Dave Finney <laughs> Zinfandel, yeah. and so we finally got it. And a cool name, of course, he named it Eight Year in the Desert. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then now we have other really cool wines like Machete. And Palermo, Papillon. And Papillon I can talk um, about Dave. Yeah, Dave Mercury. So I gotta come back for Orange. Okay. <laughs> but this is yeah. the high news. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> 
<laughs> so now I gotta put the, I need to stay, stay focused. I have, I have trouble doing that. My mom tells me all the time, stay focused, Mikey. So that's what we're gonna do, we're Alexis. Really I'm sorry, but no, but I mean, look, I know, but the, the portfolio, she's, she's on the mm -hmm. wine side, now she's on the seltzer side. Yep. We love it. I honestly, I have not tasted high noon yet. Really? That's and a blow your socks off. I feel very <laughs> deprived. You are deprived. Okay. And this is in a category in yes. and of its own mm -hmm. for seltzer, mm -hmm. which is why we're always so excited about high noon. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think Gallo just does anything for the sake of doing something. No. They don't play uh, catch up or copycat. No, they basically yeah. lead the charge, especially when it comes to the wine category and expanding that. Um, and when High Noon first came out, there actually wasn't a seltzer that was vodka based, that was popular by any means or easy to access or anything like that. Um, and Gallo is actually also in spirits. So they owned a brand called High Noon Vodka and their number one selling one was Grapefruit High Noon flavor. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the VPs, they just like to put some seltzer water in it and drink it. And then as the RTD uh, ready to drink category was kind of growing, Gallo knew that they needed to get their foot in the door. So they were like, we already have this product. We're sick of buying stuff. So let's just <laughs> take this and kind of evolve it into what it is today, which is the fastest growing seltzer in the category. So. I know you guys just smashed that like button because she dropped so many knowledge bombs. Well, Matt Brock's we're going to smash it again when we tell you yes. that this is real so mm -hmm. what is different about high noon is that it's all real mm -hmm. and so it's real vodka as alexis just said and it's real juice yep. and there's no added sugar no okay. corn syrup it's yep. gmo free uh, i mean it's uh, gluten free, gluten -free. Yeah. all yeah. that's added is sparkling water and real fruit juice yeah. so that's literally all that's on the label so everyone in the sweet green line needs to get out of that line and head over <laughs> i mean they have they have it's so much, they, head over, and they have so much um, exposure <laughs> distribution you can yes. find high noon pretty much anywhere that's the mm -hmm. great thing about gallo they have so many distribution points or, yep. and r and dc helps with that too yes. because they have so many distribution points but i let's taste yeah, yeah. let's, let's do it. taste what we've all got right. here so we got pineapple, it's one of my faves. Um, passion fruit, you want to go down the line? Yeah, got lime. I'm doing That's a uh, favorite. vodka soda, I read my mind. Peach is my yeah. favorite. Peach <laughs> is delicious. Is that the watermelon? Yes. Yeah. So the watermelon actually got rated by BuzzFeed, I think, a year ago as the number one seltzer. They did a huge taste off. So between out of all, I don't know who the like heck sat down and did it, but they tried seltzers. all flavors of all different seltzers, and High Noon Watermelon was the number one pick. So that's kind of what really got High Noon started, mm -hmm. and what got a lot of people interested mm -hmm. in the product. So. Thank you. And another great thing about High Noon is it has a flavor for everyone. So the watermelon, it's not sweet by any means because it's a seltzer, but it's more, it has more flavor to it than, or not flavor, it's just, it packs a bigger punch than um, some of the other flavors. So it just kind of runs the gamut for people, which is cool. So, okay, I, I'm doing the sniffy sniff. This is not a Brunello. <laughs> no, but, it, <laughs> but I mean, it is aromatic. I'm yeah, yeah. You get the watermelon. Yep. yep. That's, that's a lot of watermelon in here, guys. That's like, mm -hmm. wow. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I've been hanging out with this master of wine too long, Holly Rocco Ferracci. Oh my gosh! You know, and and all and all the guests, Lee Cohen. I mean, just great I people. I watched that one. That was a just, wonderful. Just great episode. people in the business. Gonna aerate the bubbles even more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tasty, so refreshing, mm -hmm. so delicious, and. Thank you for um, highlighting that this is real. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I, yep. I, I, I can't taste it. I, I, my palate is sophisticated thanks to Holly now. <laughs> I, I, I don't taste any high, fru high fructose corn syrup or anything no. like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But I have seen on alternative seltzers the word beer in very fine print mm -hmm. at the bottom of the can. Yes, so another cool thing. So the reason that Holly said that this is in a category of its own is we don't want to roll up into places and be like, absolutely not, don't have any other seltzers on your menu, because it just doesn't make sense. Um, because again, this is in a category of its own. It's vodka based. A majority of other seltzers like White Claw, Truly, um, those are malt and sugar based. Um, so that's why they have to put beer on there. Interesting. So, yeah. So, so it's not beer, it's just they're using beer 
ingredients. Yes, I think so. And because it's got the malt in it. It's, the got, it's, got, it's got the malt. So no yeah. beer. You're not going to feel bloated after these mm -hmm. puppies. You know, after I do, after two Bud Lights. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are just Yeah, super and these light. are crisp to, and they're clean. Um, if you taste this next to some other seltzers that are malt and sugar based, you can literally taste the maltiness of it, which you never, I never really noticed it beforehand until I started tasting them side by side. And it really points out how clean and refreshing. Let, let's do a side by side. Okay. Can, uh, Denise, can you grab those, those alternative cans for us right there? If you don't mind, thank you so much, Denise Rox. We have the mango. I think it's the mango. Okay, we're gonna do a side by side, which you don't do mango. a lot. Nice. We can do but mango, the, mango. the reason mango mango. we're doing mango, mango, mango. there you are, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we don't do side by sides a lot because we're very sensitive about the vineyard teams that are out there working so diligently, um, you know, mm -hmm. har harvesting. But this is not wine, so maybe it let's isn't. do let's do this is our first side by side, people. Which, can I put this in my fanny pack? Oh yeah, it, it's, <laughs> hold on. Also, the fanny packs are coolers, so oh. just a heads up. <laughs> okay, we're doing we're doing mango and ma do, okay, that's okay. Yeah, you, got, you have the mango. Yep. Okay, this is the alternative mango. We're, we'll be nice though. This is the alternative mango. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we'll be nice. This, this, I mean, that's self service. I'm not here to say it's no, all terrible. No, she's not. No, she's like, she's very being very yes. magnanimous, and so, so it's just I'm different. Going, so how should we do this? Should we go with the alternative or with the real deal? I would go with the alternative okay. first. Do I need to? No, you're good. Rinse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wine. I, Holly spoils me. Holly spoils me. There you go. Thank I you, get two shots. Okay. <laughs> you got no the side problem, by side. Alexis. <laughs> you're, you're our guest Thank today. You. <laughs> Whatever you like. Wow, the service here is immaculate. Thank you. <laughs> We're in the service industry. We're all in the service industry. Customer comes first. Okay, so this is the alternative mango, mm -hmm. which has a lot of like names you can't pronounce on their ingredient statement. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, we're gonna try this, ladies. Yep. Okay. Okay. See on the back, this sounds very whiny of me. Wino y of me. Um, <laughs> on the back palate, it's almost kind of malty. You get like a tinge of it. Yes. And it's a little syrupy, mm -hmm. like a little thick. Yeah. It's, it's got a, so when we talk about old world finishes, mm -hmm. this is, this is a non-existent finish. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You is just that, get a, yeah, you get that malt, but yeah. without the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay. Now on Thai noon time. It's always high noon. I think it's going to be always <laughs> high noon time. <laughs> we have to support Italians. Yes. Okay. Sorry, we caught Holly in between shots there, but <laughs> being a bad bar. It's always bar. Okay, a good day. Bad, <laughs> yeah, bad bar. Oh, I'm sorry, you're yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. It's high noon time, mango to mango. If you guys want to smell it, then that's yeah, like the, uh, that's the, the alternative. alternative. But smell the freshness of high noon. Yes. I mean, that's a big difference Whoa. right there, yeah. right? It's like super fresh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in the fruit aisle at Whole Foods right <laughs> yeah, now, you're surrounded smelling by a nice mangoes. Ripe, ripe mm -hmm. mango. Oh yes. Yeah. Flavor this goes clean. Yes. Flavor goes on and on on the back finish. You yep. don't get that malty syrupy yep. business. It's not as thick. If yeah. I'm hauling cases of these of these seltzers to the beach on uh, hot sand, mm -hmm. I'm gonna burn my feet <laughs> for <laughs> a good reason. Because I always forget my slippers in the car. Yes. But I'm gonna burn my feet for a good reason and I'm gonna go with high noon. Yeah. Um, They're great on the beach. I can yes. attest to that. They're great <laughs> literally, literally anywhere. So. We, um, yes, the, the alternative tried and failed. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go with high noon. It's just uh, it, the quality. I mean, the quality of the fruit and the mm -hmm. product, your ingredients, yep. is it, is manifest. I mean, there. Mm -hmm. um, now I sound like I'm talking wine again. That's okay. But, <laughs> we can go. We can go down that road if you want to talk like, about finish. I get a, <laughs> any tannin on the back for you? I, guys? Can, I, get, I get a little acacia. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That's real mango. That so is real mango. Yes, yeah. and that's actually one of the newest flavors. Mm -hmm. So they just came out with mango, and they just came out with the passion fruit, which is just in the mix pack, though. Passion fruit is like a limited time um, availability in the tropical. Whoa, 
<laughs> Tropical mixed pack. Uh, mango you can get on its own. Are you having any supply chain issues with COVID? Not anymore. So okay. at the very beginning, we absolutely were, just kind of like everyone was, especially with, we had a lot of um, aluminum issues. Oh, okay. So it's really, really hard to can things. Um, but we're good now. Yeah, so, we're good now. We've been good. Yeah, yeah we've, we've been, been good. good. Um, and also, another reason we had so much trouble is Barstool is now one of the biggest sponsors of High Noon. It's a big partner. Um, and since they picked it up, it went from 500 million cases in one year to 4 billion cases. And four no, billion. 4 billion and cases. And climbing. And climbing, and yes. Climbing. And I mean, only salts are growing at this point. Does that rival like Coke and Pepsi in terms of oh. discounts? <laughs> it has to. 4 know, billion, billion cases. Yeah. Of high noon, mm -hmm. oh my god! And it's still growing, um, especially with the partnership. So I don't even—I'm not exactly sure how the partnership happened, but pre them being Barstool partners, um, of course, my fiance follows Barstool pretty heavily, and he loves El Prez, Dave Portnoy, and Dave Portnoy was just doing one of his videos, and he started talking about high noon. And then he got a following of nooners, as he calls them. So everyone that loves him. Hey, I'm a nooner now. Yeah, I'm everyone's a nooner. a nooner. Cheers to the nooners. Yeah. <laughs> the nooners. Cheers, Cheers to the nooners. Cheers. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, I got you. I got you. But yeah, and then I think Gallo saw the opportunity there, and they just kind of ran with it. And ever since then, thank you. Um, Barstool has really, really helped push High Noon along, and High Noon helps sports a bunch of supports a bunch of sporting events um they just had like barstool versus america 10-day event which was really cool that high noon sponsored so yeah so i think celebrity endorsements are cool and mm -hmm. it's great and i do love dave because he does a lot for small business yes, especially during the pandemic yeah mm -hmm. he's, and i know personally a few one restaurants. of our local restaurants here yes. fish market was a recipient yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. crystal city sports pub uh, also benefited mm -hmm. from from their fund mm -hmm. and so so we love dave for that he's a champion for the little guy but i feel like Four billion cases. Mm -hmm. You're talking repeat sales. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, everyone will try something once. Yep. Yeah. As uh, Holly knows, I mean, yep. we'll, we'll try something once, but you know, for us to keep calling you back mm -hmm. for that Barolo, for that yep. Nooner, I mean, there's a reason. We yeah. love it. I mm -hmm. mean, the quality's in there. Yeah. I mean, um, it is always funny when I bring in High Noon, and it take it, in the beginning, not as much anymore. It took a lot for me to get this as a placement. And then the second it got as a placement, I was getting calls immediately yeah. like, I need more, I need more, yeah. I need more. <laughs> Did you kill it at tastings? Oh yeah, people love this stuff, especially um, any kind of country club mm -hmm. loves high noon. Well, it's great for the pools. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's have The pools, the tennis courts, the golf carts. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know, that's where this is, has a great home. Yep. And yeah, I mean, and it's fun now, you know, when you go to a tasting and you're doing it and someone walks in, oh, high noon, I love, oh, my mm -hmm. favorite flavor is, yeah. you know, say yeah. one. And, uh, you know, so people recognize it and they yep. get excited when they see it. So that's been my experience, too. Mm -hmm. So I thought I was cool, but I'm not. But now, <laughs> hopefully, I am now that I'm a nooner. You are a nooner. And, and so. You get that on your business card? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm a nooner. Nooner. You need uh, a license plate. I know. Nooner, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. This is. this. Uh, do we have any other flavors? Oh, we have. Yeah, so we've got flavors. lots of flavors. This yeah. is my favorite. This is lime. Okay. It's also one of our newer flavors. We've got peach in there. That's my Favorite. Peach. Yes. yes. Would you like me to list off all the flavors? Please. Um, so originally it started with the OGs, as I like to call them. <laughs> Pineapple, grapefruit, yep. another one of my favorites. Um, yep. Watermelon and black cherry. And then we expanded the line to lime and peach. And then we expanded it further to mango and passion fruit. There is another flavor coming out, I think in fall or winter, but we have not been told yet what it is. So stay tuned. Oh, surprise yeah. flavor. Yeah. Surprise flavor coming. What do we think it is? Uh, I don't know. If it comes out. Pizza? Oh. <laughs> Imagine that by the pool. <laughs> but I was going to ask you, Alexis, how seasonal are your sales? Um, Honestly, now, not. Uh, yeah, that's consistent. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It's 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 kind of like rosé nowadays. It used to be just a summer, and now people drink rosé all year round. Yeah. So. And then calorie count. What are we talking about? I, I'm not as young as you ladies, so I have to worry about that stuff. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> what, 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 what was the calorie count? Hundred calories. Hundred calories. Okay, yeah, yeah. so that's very doable, so guys. So it's right here. So there's no questions. We got hundred calories, gluten free, mm -hmm. no added sugar, and then we have. Uh, vodka with real fruit juice, uh, sparkling water, natural flavors, and I mean that's no yep. high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, mm -hmm. 2.3 grams of sugar, best served cold. 
There, there, <laughs> there you go. Like I said, Gallo just doesn't do things to do things. They don't mm -hmm. want. To, they just don't want to put something on the shelf because somebody else has a bunch of other skews of that. Mm -hmm. They are committing. They're taking pride in yep. their products. They get bashed for being this behemoth. Oh yeah. But there's a reason why they put a lot of quality in their yep. products, as we learned from Lee. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh um, yeah, yeah. They do get bash. Um, but you know, you gotta sell the barefoots to be able to invest in the orange lifts, in my opinion. So. We've learned that yes. from the Trincaro family. Yep. yep. Yes. Who yeah, sells we sell the, Southern Homes to sell Trincaro Napa Valley. Yep. Thank you. Exactly. Yep. Thank you. So yep. it, this is a business, and you see, we we love the business of wine too. Mm -hmm. You have your so. bread and butter, and then you have your specialty. Yep. And then you have, exactly. And then you have the fun stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you have have a fun and that is a it is fun really t-shirt like, I, I don't know yeah. i'm just i just I know, like, I love that. so i'm gonna put a bunch of these in my fanny pack <laughs> there you go. Game, and then i'm gonna go home and watch um three's company okay like all day <laughs> what a day wow no. uh, do, do you guys know what three's company is you millennials <laughs> um, but it was the show and i feel like this is a three's company kind of oh for drink sure. Yeah, well, or what else? Or maybe chips? I don't Ch know. Oh, chips. Chips? Yeah, they were hot. Chips were hot. <laughs> what else? Uh, well, Baywatch! Oh. So now, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the millennials, yes. would. They, hopefully they can relate to Baywatch, mm -hmm. or I don't know, um, The Simpsons, I don't know what they're but watching. But fanny packs have made a comeback, <laughs> so I understand. Yes. 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 Oh, and absolutely. And it's a cool. And it's a cooler. Yeah. Great for tailgating. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think I'm not on the beach with this fanny pack? Yeah. You're incorrect. <laughs> you walk down the beach, you collect yes. your shells, put your shells yes. in there, no and put your hat in there. Yeah, right. right? It's perfect. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you get your 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 koozie. Yes. And then you're you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And uh, good for tailgate uh, grilling. Put your really? hygiene right really? in there. Yeah. yeah. Now I want to know about your on-premise sales. When we say on-premise, mm -hmm. what do we mean by that, Holly? Restaurants, anywhere where you can drink at the establishment. There you go. What, how are your on-premise sales, Alexis? Wonderful. Really? Yes. Um, our on-premise pricing is wonderful. Honest, if I'm being honest. Um, so people can really go in and they know what they're drinking, but they're also getting it at a wonderful price. Um, in, we've also noticed in off-premise that it is more expensive than White Blonde Truly because it's real. Um, but as you were saying, repeat customers, we've noticed people really don't care about the price anymore because they've tried it and it's so good. Um, so a lot of the restaurants that I've been placing it in that Holly's been kicking butt in <laughs> Northern Virginia in, like she's crushing it. Um, it's a lot of repeat customers. That, a, lot, yeah. a lot of repeat oh, yeah. customers. Yeah. So this, you will find this um, on uh, most bars, bar menus. We're trying. We're getting okay. there. You're, yeah. you're getting there. there. White Claw and Truly is really, really dug in in a lot of areas. But as this is growing, um, the second we kind of say this is the only seltzer growing and it's number three in the category, it's kind of a... They'll try it. They'll, they'll they try, try it for a and weekend. Then they, and then so you, do, uh, you you get a toehold, mm -hmm. and then they're ordering yep. Yep. four billion yes. cases. <laughs> exactly, later. exactly. A lot of people um, that I've noticed that don't bring it in immediately, they don't know what it is, yeah. and then the second they bring it in, they put it on you know the back bar or anything, and they see the sales and they see the recognition is when it clicks for them. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. So so we brought it in. As you know, we own a few pizza shops under the moniker Bazelli's. We did bring it in. And I and I love the um, uh, you know I love branding and I and I love the the color combination, and but I, I'm not a seltzer guy. I'm a Barolo Italian wine guy, and then maybe a Newcastle or Moretti sometimes, and then maybe a Jameson. And that. well, no, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, uh, who owns Jameson? Is that Pernod Ricard? I have no idea. Is Pernod Ricard? I think so. Or friend Jessica? Okay, yeah. Pernod Ricard. Okay, how? But I've never. I don't know why I didn't reach for one of these. But the thing mm -hmm. that the beauty of this is, because a place like Vizelli's does not have a liquor license, mm -hmm. um, because this is 4.5% ABV and um, alcohol authorities like here in Virginia, the ABC, um, they, they have agreed and allowed us to be able to sell this to places that have a wine and beer license. Mm -hmm. So it's a great alternative, you know, somebody who doesn't maybe drink beer, maybe somebody who doesn't drink wine, or maybe they're just not in the mood and they want, they want liquor or they want a vodka, you know, something like that. This yeah. gives them that option. Yeah, you know, I will say, um, I've had a lot of success with this at breweries, believe it or not, just because mm -hmm. only breweries that obviously don't have their own seltzer or something to offer their customers. Mm -hmm. um, because you go to a brewery for a higher tier craft beer and they don't necessarily want to be providing 
Corona Seltzer or White Claw or Truly. Not bashing those, those are all wonderful products, but this is just almost a higher tier of it, it's that the craft category. seltzer, yes, right? It's the craft, craft seltzer. seltzer. It's yep. the craft seltzer there we people. Go. <laughs> and that's what this show is about. It's about authenticity, it's about quality, yep. and it's about supporting Italian mm -hmm. families. Families and companies. Yep. And, and, and companies. And so this, I mean, you have an open invitation to come back thank anytime you. you like. I would love to come back. <laughs> thank, thank you so Especially much. We don't hear that often from yeah. our guests. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're doing an Orange Swift show. Oh, we are doing an Orange Swift show. Oh, we, yeah. We are doing an Orange Swift show. That would be so fun. Yeah. That yes. might be a long show. So yes. That, yes. <laughs> we've, done, we've done two hour tastings. Yeah. Yes. And those, so, I don't think he has tour. a single wine below 14 and a half percent. So it's going to be a long show. And <laughs> none of those wines are below 95 points. Oh, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> In my opinion, plus. absolutely. Yeah. The yeah. 95 On our scale. Plus, yeah. yeah, the 95 <laughs> yeah. plus club. Yes. So, yes, open invitation, Alexis, cool. to come back anytime you like. Okay. Now I know why you are the brand ambassador for this amazing brand. Um, I get it. Thank you so much for introducing us. We are nooners today, we and we nooners. will be nooners tomorrow, people. Um, can we ship this? I believe. So, because yeah. wine and beer. Wine and beer. Mm -hmm. Wine and beer. Yeah. Okay, so you will see this on casewinelife.com. Um, as many flavor, I mean, all the flavors, uh, you will see this on casewinelife.com where we have free shipping on all orders above $175 along with case discounts. She has on premise pricing. So, if we mm -hmm. save, you save, and you will find this at all Bazelli's. Um, and this, I, I think this needs to be our only seltzer because we want to give customers quality. Um, and, and this is what um, High Newman and Gallo is doing. Well, thank you. So thank you, we Alexis. Thank awesome. You so much. Hey, you wear that shirt. You wear that come shirt. back. <laughs> <laughs> Love that shirt. Love that I know. shirt. Okay, Holly. Anything that um, our viewership needs to know from from you or from R D C right now? Just enjoy High Noon, mm -hmm. right? Go right. Nooners. Go Nooners. Go Nooners. <laughs> Go Nooners. Niners. Cheers. Nooners. Yes. Salute. Salute. Salute.